Hi to everyone and welcome. If you want to start your own business online, if you want to set up your online store, definitely Shopify is one of the best solutions available in the market. And uh, this is very powerful, very convenient. It has tons of educational materials. It has tons of things that you can uh, add to this platform. And uh, it has free trial, of course, uh, to start a free trial, uh, discover the description panel of this video find the link and press that link because uh, in this video i want to provide you with an all information that you need to fast and easily set up your own um shopify account your online store to sell goods or services so when you're gonna find the link in the description panel you need to press the start a free trial Email address, password, and your store name that need to be specific, that need to be unique, of course, and that can be really difficult to find the really unique name to describe your business, but you'll figure out it. I will not show to you all the process of uh, registration because it's very simple and easy. It takes up to two or three minutes. If you will be slow, up to three minutes. If you will be fast, up to two minutes. I want to make this video as short as possible with the maximum value just to show you, to highlight all the main features and all the main things that you will need to uh, use to set up your own store. I created an account already and I have uh, my trial version. This is absolutely blank account that I created especially for this video and I'm jumping into the dashboard. That's how Shopify looks from inside and uh, this is the main page, home. You have orders, products, customers, analytics, marketing, discount apps, and online store. And that's what um, where you're going to spend most of your time. But let's start from the start. Uh, all the things that you need to make. I told you already that um, this is a totally blank account and uh, I have eight days left in my trial. And first of all, the platform remind you, kindly reminding you that you need to uh, choose a plan. But I suggest you to use 14 day trial to set everything up. And only after that, after you'll be ready to launch, you need to choose a plan. So let's jump to home, add a product, customize theme and add a domain. That's three steps that you need to make. And it seems easy and it is easy and simple if you know uh, what's happening here actually. Uh, let's discover all the things first. Orders, it's pretty clear, yeah? Orders, drafts and abandoned checkouts, all the information about your orders, about your payments, about all the things that connected to the sales uh, is here, will be here. Products, all products, uh, you can add a product, find the products from your inventory, uh, transfer all the things uh, between the new incomes to your inventory and so on. You can create a collections of an items and this is very useful feature uh, if you have not one, not two items, but like 50, 70, hundreds uh, of different types of sizes maybe and uh, uh, colors and so on. Maybe you're selling some, I don't know, physical stuff. Gift cards. Um, there's a gift cards you can handle with the gift cards. Customers, here in this spot, you'll see all the customers' information, all the information about all the purchases, uh, all the purchases history will be available here. Analytics, this is totally one of the most important part of this, of any business actually, not only uh, of this business, this is totally macro. All the reports, also sales equation, profit margin, customers, and so on and so on. There's a lot of information to take care of marketing this is the second biggest thing marketing yeah if you have some goods if you have some stuff you need to run ad campaigns uh, with uh, different sales channels and in that case you'll get more potential clients you'll show your products to more clients uh, potential clients and you're gonna bring them to uh, client to physical clients if you know nothing about the email marketing or marketing in general uh, you see the five rules of digital advertising, how to design your product page, how much you should spend on advertising, how to create an effective value proposition, and so on and so on. You can learn, you can educate yourself straight from the platform. And this is pretty great because there are tons of 
educational materials are really, really powerful. Uh, or, of course, you can use on YouTube uh, to find more information. So, um, launch one-click multi-channel campaign. That's going to be handy when you have everything set up already. But I want to highlight all these marketing apps. This is absolutely huge and this is absolutely powerful tools and you can switch them on. It's like you're building an infrastructure um, and after that, you're adding some things to that infrastructure already. Snapchat ads, for example, you can sell things in Snapchat. SMS bump, you can run SMS campaigns like in email marketing. The SMS marketing. This is pretty cool and pretty great, and you can view more marketing apps and not only marketing apps because uh, we're gonna jump to you see the campaigns. Okay, overviews, macro about the marketing campaigns, uh, all your active campaigns and all the results, automation, uh, and you see learn more about automations and you can automate all the processes. And mm, this is the spot um, of a real business. A real business, you know what is, uh, you know what what is the real business when you're sleeping and your business working for you. That's a real business. So automation is definitely one of the most important parts. Discounts, uh, discount codes, discount codes. You'll figure it out. And apps. That's what I was talking about previously. Uh, you can view more apps in this collection, and it's about design, it's about planning, shipping, bookkeeping, and marketing. There are tons of interesting and very very useful applications. Uh, and uh, just you need to dip, dig deeper about this uh, application because it can bring your uh, your business skyrocket, really. So online store, uh, your online store is password protected from the start because uh, the platform secures itself uh, from unprecedented sales. To switch off to disable the password you need to go to preferences and password protection is in preferences the password is i don't know maybe uh, it, it actually it doesn't matter there's a password and people cannot uh buy something from your email from your website because uh it's password protected okay so you need to pick a plan we uh, talk about the plan already previously and if we are on the preferences let's talk about them title the meta description all the seo uh, things need to be uh, need to be passed you need to type in the home page title home page meta description with the keywords that will describe your business as um as much as possible and as specific as possible uh, so Keep on that social sharing image if you want to share your website to external platforms like Facebook or Pinterest or some else. Um, this image will be displayed, so you need to add this image and page title. You see it's going to be this one, uh, page title and description. If you need more analytical information, if you need more analytics, you can switch on the Google Analytics account. If you have one, uh, you can paste your code here from Google. Facebook Pixel also, it's very important thing. If you're selling goods online and using Facebook ad campaigns, definitely you need to set up the um, Facebook Pixel. Customer privacy, password protection, and spam protection. It's pretty clear. Uh, domains. You see tons of goods here. Dot myshopify.com. This is not, a best, uh, not the best domain, don't you think? Uh, so you can buy a new domain from here. You can transfer domain or you can act existing domain if you have one um, elsewhere. Navigation here in the spot. Uh, all the things connected to online store. Navigation. Uh, you can use all those menus, style footer menu and main menu. Pages you can add. Mm, you can add pages or delete pages if you need. So uh, blog post the same thing. Uh, and the themes, but before I'll show you the themes, I want to show you the sales channels, because now we're talking about only uh, only the online store, and this is uh, this is like a core of your of your sales channels. This is the main one, and this is uh, the platform that everything lays on. But you can switch on point of sale, buy button, free to add, buy button fees may apply, sell your products on any website or blog. So you're going to have an API and you can uh, you can post your buy button to any place that you want. Messenger, 
you can sell in Messenger, Google, Facebook, and Shopify chat. So all the sales channels, you can manage the sales channels. Some of them uh, are for free, but small fee uh, may apply. So consider that. And now we're going to talk about the online store itself. So the first and most common mistake that everybody makes uh, is to use a default theme. Yeah, this current theme is debuted and, and everybody, okay, I'm going to customize this one. Just think twice about that because a lot of people who are selling and buying on Shopify, they know this uh, this platform and they know then can they can recognize that you're using a default theme. And it's not so professional as you want to be. That's why you need to discover maybe some uh, good and professional themes for you from the Shopify theme store. There are free themes or you can buy one. But the editing features are pretty the same and I'm going to show you how to customize any of your templates that you will choose. It's a little bit unusual because if you're familiar with internet marketing and you saw all those website building platforms, you know that everything is happening with the drag and drop features and you can just double click on any element. You can move elements around here. You can't. And that's a little bit annoying, actually. But definitely you can build professional looking website straight on this platform and everything that you can change, you can change with this left hand menu. Uh, for example, image with text overlay, you see the, the structure is the, is the same. There are sections with the content, there are header, there are footer, and that, that's pretty it. And you need to take care about all the section, you need to change all the things here like text that you cannot change with double click on it and you need to uh you need to handle all this left hand menu here text and all the text is pretty here you'll figure out all the settings are here now you can select an image from your computer or you can explore free images and um considering your your type of your business maybe you have uh a coffee yeah, or or some else, mm, some else things. Just you can use the free images if you don't have your own content, but you want to start selling without a physical uh, store or physical cafe or physical. I don't know. You just need to have a warehouse, and that's pretty it. You can sell the internet, and you can explore those free images, and you can definitely find something for yourself. Of course, it's much better to use your own content that you created. But if you have no opportunity, you have free images, uh, stock quality, just great stock quality images. You can use it for free uh, or, of course, you can create your own content. You can move those things around to uh, to get the order that you want, to get the shape that you want and you can add sections maybe you have some uh physical store and you want to add a map or you need the logo list or you need the collection list and so on and so on it depends on the type of your business and as i told you previously um, nobody except you can describe your business better so you need to take care about all of that you need to play around with all the settings you need to uh, set you, you need to combine all the things together uh, and uh, show your business to your potential clients how to delete for example i didn't need this testimonials here but it's an uh, important section but i want to remove it and i can remove it only from inside i showed you that and you'll figure out that there's a theme settings here also the colors typography search social media favicon add to card identification checkout and theme style uh, is switched off mm. All the settings, all the things you can change here. I'm going to jump out and I want to show you the products button and how to add a product physically. You need to type um, the title. You need to type in the description using the keywords. Uh, all the media, all the files you can add here with this button. Pricing. For example, you're selling something for 100 and you need to compare it to 250, you know the price will be crossed uh, on the website. 
And for example, you're making a drop shipping and you selling for 100 and you buy it for 25, for example. And you see the margin, you see the profit that you get from one sale and you can charge tax on this product if you need to do so. Inventory, stock keeping unit, barcode and like all the things, quantity, how, how much uh, do you have that on stock, shipping information, the weight of kilograms. and So, so you need to handle all these things. Uh, you can also switch the product type, the vendor, and create the collections in the collections actually. And you can use the separate tags for each of the product. Uh, like th that's gonna be much more better to search engines and to uh, to find uh, to to people who will search like things like t-shirt for summer or cotton t-shirt. Yeah. And you can use all those tags that will, will be invisible and so on. So guys, I showed you all the all the all the main things that you need to use to set up your first online store on Shopify. I hope this was useful. I hope you will uh, start soon and uh, definitely after you're ready, you need to pick a plan. It's basic Shopify, Shopify and advanced Shopify, 29, 79 and 299 per month. Uh, there's a difference actually 2% transaction fee, 1% and 0.5% transaction fee and a lot of uh, interesting things more. It depends on your type of business and um, I wish you to start uh, building your website first to manage all the things with inventory because this is very, very, very useful and very powerful platform to run um, sales of physical goods from one spot, not using the external uh, warehouse mm, software and, and so on. This is really powerful for online shops and for online stores. And the price is really affordable. So if you're gonna try to build it on a separate platform or in a website building platform, you need to pay for uh, design, pay for a lot of things. So it's better to uh, get the ready platform to set everything up and to launch fast easy and to make an income that's what i want you to do uh, i want to remind you that it will have the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get that link to get access to shopify um uh, i wish you good luck i wish you to start soon and i wish you big profits thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate and uh, i really wish you good luck because if you will be happy i will be happy also Thanks, bye-bye, and see you in the next video.